Alright, it's Kyle 311 here back with Baldur's Gate yes. 2. And we are heading through the first part of this game here, through our it through the dungeon. And uh, that we are caught, or where well, the game starts. So, let's head on in. What have we done? We went, okay, we, so we talked to the druids, we went to her room, and then we headed, I headed back over here. That's the portal. There's actually another teleport portal over here in the beginning through this door. I believe we can use either one to get out of here when the time comes. What is my task? Consider it done. See, they just saw us. My timber's bad enough without ye bothering me. All right, be alert. We got company. Ho, prisoners! You've come to the wrong place. I tell you the truth, Ilyich and his boys will stop you. Give me the acorns that belong to the dryads. I won't be giving them to you. Come and get them if you can. Fine, I'll do that. Yep. Yep. How about a fireball? How does that sound? Good start. Alright. On my honor. You point, I punch. You guys come on in. By my honor, you shall not see another day. What do you want? Could throw a stinking cloud in there, but I don't think we need to do that. I think there one of these is a wizard, even though he might be the one that died. Ilyich is badly hurt. Everybody's badly injured. We, what else do we got here? Anything main big time? No. We could throw in some insect plague. It'll slowly drain them. It should move to multiple people. No, I'll be dead anyway before he even lands. Yes. Let's just kill him. How's that sound? Right? I will do my best. Oh, there's the mage. Name. He's frightened. So he's yellow, and now he's dead. What is my task? Yes. Ready and willing. that attacked us. I read about them when you were skipping out of lessons back in Candlekeep. Dwarger, I think, kind of evil, I guess. So I'm not surprised they would be working for our captor. Let's see, quite the little setup. Got everything he needs, including smiths. For the knives, probably the knives. He has a lot of them. I'm going to have a couple of scars from this. Looks like you will, too. As if I need another reminder, Scales. I don't care what power this guy thinks he can tap in you. He's just sick to the core. We can't ever look back. I agree. And I got to actually start my timer. Because I forgot. While I do that, On we can honor. loot. With our new ways to loot. I forgot about it. Yeah. It's cool that we have this. Money, acorns, for sure. That is part of the quest for our dryad buddies. Um, another medium shield. I guess we can give that to somebody. Money. Money. I had to drop your item on the ground. I can carry no more. Okay. I await your need. So if I select Shahira, and she'll grab this stuff, right? Okay. She already has a sling, I think. We'll give her some more bullets. Not that I don't know if she'll ever really use them much. Mail the dead. Okay. Yes. I know that's a mail of the dead because I've played this game, even though it's been a while. So it's actually some pretty good armor. And if we give that to our girl, she should be able to. Identify it with her spell, Mail of the Dead plus 2. Which armor class 3, 1 verse slash and 5 verse crushing. Should be better than what he already has on. That'll put him to a negative 2. He already has that. And she can now use the splint mail to put her to 0. So that is good for everybody. It's fun for the whole family right there. Okay. And what else do we got here? We got all these gems. That we can stack. But it wasn't stacking for us. Here, let's you carry these, they're light. So I can save room since I pick I don't need this leather armor. I don't know why I have it. I probably don't really need this bow either. Why did I take this? So he has a better shield if he wants to use a shield. That's why I took it. Okay. The 
pommel, the acorns I'll keep, and I would need room for all these keys that we're gonna eventually get. What is my task? Okay, so now we can start my timer. Apologize, it's already been a few minutes, so like I said, I want to try. Oh, no, no, I want to try to keep these within 15 Something minutes, up. 20 minutes. That's the goal here. Um, Minsk, the Minsk and search. where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. I don't think there's any loot here that is trapped. There's another helmet. That's just a regular helmet. I think everybody's got helmets. We don't need any of that. Some more bullets. We'll give those to Jahiras, and she's almost maxed out on her bullets, so that's good. And another potion and a club, actually, that Jahira can use. She's actually better with a club than anything else. With all these scrolls, I don't plan on using Immowin as my main mage as we move through this game, so that's why I'm not scribing those scrolls to her. When you scribe them, you can get experience, you get experience points for it, so it's useful to gain some experience, but I want to save it for when we actually, I'm using a character that I'm going to use. I don't think I'm going to use her. There's a couple of reasons why. Uh, the main one being that there's a point in the game where you lose her, kind of, and she doesn't come back for a while. And you can either go rescue her right off the bat, or you can do everything else. Done. And I'd rather just do everything else and not have to worry about running off to rescue her real quick. Um, so therefore... I... I'm probably not going to use her as my main... one of my mages yes. that I'm going to be using. As you ask. Okay, I think we got everybody. He wasn't really in the uh, auto loot section of the game. What's going on here? Jahira, you're over encumbered? Yes, she's encumbered. I really don't need this armor, I don't think. So we'll just do that for now. What is my task? It shall be. Okay, let's keep going here, down this way. Time and to if move. If I remember correctly, there's a trap Pass. over here. There's a small little path. There it is. Okay. On my honor, consider it done. There is a Cambian, I believe he's called, in here. An enemy. Who is here. You can't attack him until you turn this machine off. You technically don't have to kill him, but I think he has some decent loot and he gets some decent experience for it. Yes. Might as well put I our guys right next to him Ray. before we... Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle! What is my task? I am ready. Fall, creatures, and feed the earth. Oh, a solid hit. Yeah. Nice. On my honor, it shall be. He has some money. He has chainmail, but he has a sword, which is what? Bastard sword. Plus one. Nothing too great for us, but. He did give us 6,000 experience points. Yes. So that alone is worth the, worth the attack. Consider it done. And that's the end of this section. So we pretty much have the whole thing opened up. So we have to get the acorns back here. And I don't know if we... I know we have to go back to them for something else too. But I'm assuming we probably have to come in here first. The uh, little statue we had opens this door. And this takes us to another I plane. Will do my best. Basically. And we're gonna meet somebody here that can help us out with a good weapon. Feel the backhand of justice! There's three frontline fighters going. What is my task? Yes. And what you hear is not the greatest fighter, but she's not terrible.
Damn, Jay is getting beaten good. down. Why, oh, you know what? Nobody's attacking. Live by the sword. Live a good long time. They couldn't, oh, I didn't notice they couldn't get around to attack. Very well. So she's gonna taking the brunt of that. Scroll of Conjure Air Elemental. Yes. Which is pretty good. Done. I'll give that to Jahira for now. Eventually you'll find a scroll case or buy a scroll case where you can put all these scrolls so they're in one one only take up one inventory slot. Alright, so we cannot say we cannot heal in here, so let's heal her with spells. Because we're in another like plane of existence, so it doesn't allow you to heal. There's a tough fight, a little tougher fight up here. Let's see if we can uh, hide. Good to go. And let's see if we can get her to see what's going on up here. As you see, there is quite a few of these methods. Quite a few. So now we know they're there. So we can get her to cast a fireball spell. About right here. Where they can't see her. But it sees them. On my honor. It shall be. That's enough to kill all of them, or what? I'll kill a couple of them. That dude right there is a pain in the butt. Okay. What do you want? What's going on with you? You are stunned. And he's and yes. Minx is stunned as well. These are why these guys are a bitch. They can stun you and they can mess you up. The fire guy though, we gotta take him out. There we go. What is my task? Consider it done. There we go. What the fire guy get more experience than the rest? 420. He seems harder. 420. The fire guy was there. Four, now they're all the same. On my honor. And none of them get drop anything. Those methods never work. drop loot, seems like. Okay, so here's where we're heading to. This genie. <laughs> I am bound. What do who are you? Ah, I see. The master is gone and you've managed to get yourselves in trouble. Um who are you that you've been bound to this flask? Enslaved would be a more accurate word. I was captured in my home on this plane of air by some wizard. He bound me to this flask that I might guard his things and something of yours. You have something that belongs to me? I do. A thing of power that still carries a hint of your essence. There's something odd about the signature that you leave on this item. No matter. Can you give it to me? If I had the power to give you your weapon, I would, but the force that binds me is strong. As long as I'm trapped within this flask, I'm within the mage's power. If you can secure the means of my release, I will give you your weapon. Sure. The flask that I am bound is a creation of magic. It is unbreakable as long as it remains apart from its twin, the real flask. You must find the original and bring it back to me. Once it's within my grasp, I can break the enchantment and be freed. Where can I find it? He will keep it close to himself. The master would not risk it falling into other hands. Perhaps he keeps it in his chambers or with his dryad concubines. Perhaps the golems have it. I cannot pinpoint its location from another plane. You shall have to search for it. Return to me when you find it, and we shall exchange my freedom for your weapon. Sounds yes. good. So what we're gonna do is it shall be. I know it's at it's with the dryads. So that that takes care of that mystery. So we're gonna return the acorns to the dryads, and then we're gonna ask for the flask, get that back, and then come here and get what he wants, and then we're gonna head out of this level. You must gather your party before venturing. And there may be a faster way to do this. Like I don't know. I don't know if you go to the dryads first. I don't see why you would be able to get the flask. It wouldn't make sense. Ready and willing. Because let's haste everybody so we can do this quicker. What is my task? Um, it doesn't seem it wouldn't make sense. So much faster they're moving because they're hasted. One good thing about haste is it's great in battles, but it's also great to get around the map. If you've already been through these areas, and you know there's no enemies. Um. 
what am I going to say? Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's no way to get that flask. I would assume. I never tried it without going to him first, because how would you even know about it, you know? Doesn't really make sense, so. On my honor, I will right. do my best. You have done a noble thing for us. Please take these acorns to the Fairy Queen who lives in the south end of the Windspear Hills. We will help you escape. You must use the portals to travel up to the next level of the complex. This is how Irenicus travels. The portals are triggered by a certain key. He uses her key. He still loves her, you see. He keeps her room just as it was, though well protected. We go there sometimes and look at her things. May the forest always open a path for you. So we got 9500 XP for bringing their acorns back. So now we ask about the flask, and they say we're very noble, and we got the flask. So now, yes. we head back to the genie. Yes. To give that to him. And of course, the two of our party members go the wrong direction and stand around for a while and realize there's a wall there. So let's run back the other way. So now when we get here, they're going to say, we must wait for your companions to travel forth, or however they say it. You must gather your far party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Well, if they went the right way and followed everybody else, we would be gathered. What is my task? You Very must well. gather your party ah. before venturing forth. My guy's one Done. of them. Okay, so let's head back to the gene, the genie. I heard running, having this formation helps with the pathfinding. I don't, I, it doesn't seem like it does, that's for sure. Something, I heard, I read somewhere they're having the lion one. Yeah, they could be talking about the ones with the arrows, actually, but I don't know. Now that I think about it. So let's switch this one up for that arrow one and see, let's see how that one works. Anyway. On my honor, as you ask. Alright, let's make the exchange. Okay, so we got 15,000 XP. We lost the item, but we gained an item. It's free and happy. Just like Aladdin, genie. Okay, and the item we got is the Sword of Chaos plus two, which is the sword of your brother from the first Baldur's Gate. But it has lost a lot of its power, but it still is not bad. It drains a hit point from the target and transfers it to the wielder. It has some good damage and a good to hit. It's a two-handed sword, though. So nobody we have right now can use it, technically. Well, yes. Minx can use it, but I got him dual wielding right now. It shall be. Even though he can use two-handed swords, so he could. he's also proficient in those, so he could use it. But we're gonna um, just let him. I guess I'm gonna keep him dual wielding for now because it's kind of cool. I usually actually have him use two-handed swords in here, so that's a little different. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Yes, we know. Okay, save, heal, save. Okay, so now we need to get back to the portal. There's one here and there's one here. So after all that, we need to head back over here where we kind of were. Which is a pain in the butt. On my honor. Consider it done. Oh, it's a, I just it didn't have the whole line because it's doing this thing. Okay, I'm used to having it show all the like all four marks, but I switched up how they how they're moving. Seemed like it worked. Wait, what? Wait a minute. What am I missing? How am I missing a key? Time to move. Oh my god, where's the key? I've missed the key. Yes. I always have the key. I await your word. What is my task? It shall be. On my honor. Is it over here? 
I have never gone to that portal without having the key. What did I not do? That is crazy. I was, seriously, I don't even know where the key is because I've just always had it. There it is. How did I not grab that before? Oh my god, this is, this is crazy. Okay, well now we go back and go in the damn portal. That's embarrassing. I've always had a key of it. What? I have no idea why I didn't grab it. I don't know if I just completely missed that, um, that chest or whatever when I was in there. I just completely didn't think about it. I don't know what happened. Okay, so now we can get through here. So, there is sanity in all this madness. If you are not in league with the evil that dwells in this unholy place, Yoshimo begs your assistance. A fair line easily used by servants of the wizard themselves. We have been imprisoned and worse and given many reasons to distrust strangers we encounter. I share your sentiments. I have seen much here that has disturbed me. I myself am a warrior with no evil intentions. Please, I would welcome any assistance you might offer. How did you come to be here? It is actually quite uh, embarrassing. My profession does not leave itself open to those who are not wary, yet somehow I was caught unaware. I came to Athketlal years ago from Karatur to seek my fortune. At some point I went in bed at my room with a copper coronet and I woke in a strange room with a very sore head. I do not know how long I was there before awakening. Uh, do you think we are in Athketlal? I am unsure. I may have been drugged when I was brought here. I may have been unconscious. Either way, I do not know how long. If it was the former, this place could be anywhere. If it was the latter, then I don't imagine that I could have traveled very far without noticing. Then you too know the hardship of being set into a maze like a helpless hamster. We are comrades in peril. Blue asks what you propose we do next, little man. <laughs> I do not know a way to escape this place. Perhaps we could search together. Sure. And he's happy to lend his blade to our cause. And in this next chamber, there are portals, basically, that we have to destroy. He basically tells us... And then there's another yes. trap coming up as well. My best. So we don't have to go through all that. And we got another scroll. What is my task? Yes. So Yoshimo begs our assistance. He is here I'm now. Ready. I think. So Yoshimo is a bounty hunter, which is a type of thief. He is good at finding traps. And he is okay at average at pretty much everything else. He's better at setting traps than she is, that's for damn sure. Um, he likes katanas, daggers, short bows, single weapon style, I meaning he only carries one weapon, nothing else, no shield, just a single weapon. And he has his own katana that he can carry on and only he can use. It gives him a little bit of bonuses, it's a plus one weapon, so that's good. And he has arrows, if you want him to use his bow, which is probably what he should be using, actually. And he has leather armor. Which we probably should have kept that one piece of armor. Can you use... I doubt he can use chain, can he? No. Shit. Uh, oh well. He's missing. He's not going to have any better armor. At least not now. But he's not really going to need it. With what we got left. There's not too much... Well, there's a little bit left in here. On my honor. Very well. Okay, so yes. let us end this video here. And we'll continue in the next one. So we made our way through the first level finally, and we're on the second level, and we're about to try to get out of this place. This is the last level of this opening dungeon. So, thanks for watching everybody, we'll see you in the next one.